How are we going guys? The Loop Gamer over here and welcome to another episode of Really Cool Gaming Loop. Over here people, we've got the Iron Harvest 1920 Collector's Edition. I want to kind of show you guys all the really cool details of this. So we kind of see over here fellas, this is for the PC version of course. This game came out this week and unfortunately it arrived about two days late. Let's kind of check out the unboxing of this and kind of see whether it's worth it. Having a look at the packaging over here, as we could see, Iron Harvest Collector's Edition. I'm really loving this sinister red and black there. Kind of reminds me of Wolfenstein Full Colossus. On the side over here, as you can see, that really nice sort of black and red. And in the back over here, all the juicy contents. I'll, I'll even leave all of the descriptions, as you guys could see, on the left of your screen over here, what we get with this Collector's Edition. But we're grabbing ourselves a really epic looking statue and a steel bookcase and an art book and a soundtrack. So pretty dope looking collector's edition. Let's sort of open this up right now. So I use my trusty knife over here and rip off that plastic. I want to make sure I keep this box in a pretty good condition. All right, there we, there we have it guys. Iron Harvest in the flesh. And I'm assuming this probably comes off just like that. We kind of see over here Iron Harvest, really liking the black and red there. It looks pretty dope. On the side, yeah, just about the same. All that fire and evilness. At the top over here, just nice and plain and red. At the bottom, same thing. Let's, let's kind of open this up nice and slowly and not ruin anything. But as you guys can see over here from the top, we grab ourselves a couple of contents there. So the first thing that I want to kind of show you guys is this really epic looking official soundtrack CD. Have a look at how nice that looks, man. Really loving the front image over there. And the back over here, all the lovely songs. Let me kind of go a bit closer. You guys can see it. We're grabbing ourselves 22 original soundtracks. Isn't that dope? All the information about the composers there. Let's sort of open this up right now. Alrighty, let's sort of open this up nice and slowly. I want to see how this disc looks like. And while well, I'm loving the way this feels, so we can see over there, Iron Harvest. Again, the front image is dope. Let's kind of slide this open. If I could, if I could get this disc out, I'm gonna have to do it like this, unfortunately. I'll probably clean the disc afterwards. But this over here, guys, is the disc. Look at how nice that looks. I know most of us probably don't have an old CD player, but I'm very nostalgic collector. I like CDs. Let me know in the comments below whether you guys are compared to downloadable code or the actual CD. But for me, the original soundtrack is dope. Really loving the way that looks. I put this back inside here nice and gently. A plus one from the Loot Gamer. Next over here, of course, we grab ourselves. It's probably a really cool looking poster. So over here, as we can see, Iron Harvest poster. In the back over there is a sort of image. Let's sort of move this back a bit and kind of see how this poster will actually look like. Curious to see it. But over here, you can see it says Iron Harvest. That crazy looking machine-like thing. In the back over here, another Iron Harvest. This is so nice. Look at that background there. I'm really loving the art scheme they put onto this poster. Really, really nice. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, but this is cool. Let me fold that nice and gently and give my loot some respect. There you go. Next thing over here, of course, we grab ourselves is the PC game itself. But before I kind of open that, let me kind of show you guys. Actually, let me open this up and I'll show you and I'll probably leave the best for last. Let's sort of open this up. So as you know, this is for PC. So I doubt there'll be a disc. So you can see over here, Iron Harvest. You kind of see even the silver lining there, the side over here, Iron Harvest, and the back, a lot of information about the game. So let me kind of open this up and kind of show you guys what we get here, but we actually get the actual CD, which is pretty cool. Oh, if I can even open this up. Yeah, you go. So in case you guys are old fashioned like me, we also get ourselves the DVD, which is pretty dope. Really loving the way that looks. And even when you open it here, you also get the Iron Harvest. Let me kind of check out this book over here and see what we get. So over here, of course, is just the end user license agreements. Here's the guy I wanted to know. Dear customer, congratulations on purchasing this product from our company. We and the developers have done our best to provide you 
with polished, interesting, entertaining software. Thank you, sir. Let's go to the next page over here. It's in different languages, of course, in case you guys speak a different language. Did um, the game there, information. Obviously at the back over here is the code to the game itself. So, pretty dope, really, really loving the way, the way that is. Of course, we're able to use the CD or even the code that's at the back of that, which is pretty cool. Let's place that one to the side. Next thing over here, guys, we grab ourselves is a really epic looking art book. But what I want to kind of show you guys first before I show you that is this really cool looking steel case. And oh, 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 man, look at this steel book case. This is what you call true legendary in the making. I am absolutely loving the way this looks. On the side over here, we can see Iron Harvest. Even at the back over there, I'm really loving that red, yellow, and that black. I am so loving this. Let's sort of open this up here. Even on the inside, it's got that sort of sinister black there. But I'm really feeling the steel bookcase, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But this is beautiful, man. Oh, wow. I'll show you guys that again. So hot. So, so hot. The next thing, guys, you guys know me. The art of Iron Harvest. I am an art whore. Let's open up each page of this one by one. But let me just kind of show you guys the front image here. We could see... On the side over here, the art of Iron Harvest. And the back over here, again, it's got a sort of glossy-like feel to it. Let's open this up right now. Okay, guys, now let's open up this book over here. So the first page is nice and white. It's got a really nice kind of page-like texture to it as well. We can kind of see over here at the front, Iron Harvest 1920. I can't wait to boot this up on my PC. I am so excited. So over here, we can see the art of Iron Harvest. Page five is Polinia. I can't really pronounce his names properly, so excuse my French. Page 29, Russ Fitz, and page 55, Saxony. So I am loving the artwork here. This is cool. These kind of games, guys, are RTS-like games. And if you guys like stuff like strategy, this is definitely going to be in your domain. So Pelania Iron Harvest, 1920. Bit of information about the Pelanian Republic. So it's, it's a large agricultural country with a rich history. So in case you guys wanted to know more about this, I'll definitely be checking this out. Even looking at a bit of the environments here in Paulinia, some of the characters. One of these ladies' names is called Anna Koss. Look at that bear over there. More imagery on Paulinia. This is cool. Loving the way that bridge looks. So artistic. Wow, look at this. Really nice looking imagery there. So the infan infantry. We get the engineer, the flamethrower, the gunner, the medic. Grenada, the machine gunner, the rifleman, all the different kinds of infantry. We grab ourselves the mechs as well. Look at these mechs, guys. Oh, man. I am so excited to boot up this game. Right now, I'm actually playing Marvel Avengers, so I'll probably have to beat that game first before I play this one. But these are all the different kind of mechs, and this is pretty cool. Even got the names of each one as well. I'll probably make sure that I explore every single piece of land in this game. Absolutely loving the way this book looks like. So over here, Russ Vitt over here for 1920. Have a look at that image there. Whoa, that's cool. All right, so Russ Vitt is a huge, powerful, and unmatched industrial and population potential. The Rusted Army is enormous and their mechs types are unmatched when it comes to heavy armor and close quarter combat. But the country's population is tried and worn out by the long war. Tired by the long war. Frustration runs high and the power of this brother weakens with every passing. Woo! Look at that mech, man. Wow, that's cool. I am loving this art book. So this guy over here is called Lev. I'm assuming he has to be a baddie in the game. Oh, we got Olga over here. Can't wait to know all these characters. So we can't even see the concept artwork here, how they actually made the guy. 
Man, I can't wait to boot this up. We got the infernary for this different clicks. We got the engineer, flamethrower, gunner, medic, etc. I'm loving the way they make them look so different towards one another. That's really, really unique. We got the mechs here as well, we could see. Let's check out these. So each sort of clan has a different mech, which is pretty dope. So this game really went into different kinds of details. Which I'm loving, that one looks pretty crazy. Even having a look at this one here, the gun fort, exoskeleton. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. Look at that. That's crazy, this. But as you can see, guys, so much artwork. I am loving every bit of this the detail they put onto these. I'm curious to see how these graphics are gonna actually look like. We've got Saxony over here. So this obviously is another click. So Saxony Empire is one of the most influential countries in Europe with its powerful in industry, developed cities, modern factories, and a strong military tradition. However, after the unfavorable conditions of surrender in the Great War, the current mood in the empire is bad. Proud elites and humiliated aristocrats, secretary opposed the emperor's appeased policies. Excuse my reading, fellas, but <laughs> this is crazy law, man. This is dope. This is what you call really awesome law, and even the characters in this game are looking cool. I'm really, really loving the artwork in this one. We got Gunter von Ditch Ditchberg over there, too. So another click over here, Stormtrooper, Gunner, Medics. As we can see, different kinds of clicks, as I like to call them. But this is cool. And they also have their own mechs, of course. This is gonna be so, oh, oh I'm liking this one. Woo! Ain't hands over here. I can't pronounce that right, but that looks pretty dope. I'm assuming this is probably gonna be the statue that we actually get from the collector edition itself, which I'll show you guys in just a moment. But over here, we got the Grim Bart. The Ace Grim. Have a look at that. We got some more crazy looking images from the Saxony click. Some of the characters here, too. Wonder who he is. We'll find out when we play, I guess. But yeah, then we got ourselves. Jacob. So he's a Polish artist who invented the world of 1920. Created concept art illustrations for the 2017 Hollywood blockbuster. The Con Scar Island. He is also working on a concept art for the upcoming Metal Gear movie. This brother over here, guys, needs to be applauded. Really hard worker and he is the art. He put the art into this game. So thank you very much, Jacob. We really appreciate it. So putting the lovely art book to the side over here, we want to kind of check out how this statue looks like. So let me sort of open this up nice and slow there. And from my understanding, this is actually from the Saxony click. So this is probably maybe the crew that we are in the game. I'm not too sure. But let me kind of take this off. Lovely, place that just over there. Let me sort of open this up nice and slow there. This feels very solid. Very, 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 very solid, which is pretty nice. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, let me place that one to the side. And let's kind of have a deeper look into the statue over here and see all the awesome details. Alrighty, guys, as we can see over here, this is from one of the art books here. This is the Ace and Hans, uh, I don't know whether I'm saying it correctly, mech over here. And it's looking really awesome from the Saxony crew itself. And have a look at this, man. This is looking so good. Loving the kind of mech-like texture in, in, in the um, actual statue itself. You know, quality-wise, it's very solid. As we can feel, no sign of cheapness on this at all. It feels very, very solid. Even if I had to throw someone... Um, I can actually use this as a um, <laughs> freaking weapon itself. But this is gorgeous, man. I'm really liking the mech feel. The paint job was done pretty well, too. Even having a look at the gravel here, really well done, as we can kind of see over there. So they added a whole lot of detailing on it as well. Having a look at the gun here, looking really cool. Made out of a metal-like feel. 
even having a look back here, they kind of made the back look very worn out, as you can see. Ton of detail at the back here, and I'm loving the size of it. It is pretty small, so even having a look at the comparison of the book here, which is about an A, what, this, this under an A4 size is a pretty small looking figurine, but I'll definitely be putting this next to my PC because I like to have small figurines as well. Even having a look at the face here, let me sort of tap to zoom. It looks pretty dope. One thing I do wish though was it, it, it was sort of light up. That would, that, that would be pretty cool, but this is a nice looking figurine itself. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, but this is a definite win. Let's sort of open, see the, see the bottom, yeah. Nope, there's no number to this figurine itself. But this over here, guys, is a really awesome looking mech. Let me know what you guys think at the comments below. So there we have it, guys. Iron Harvest Collector's Edition. What are my final thoughts? I honestly think this is an awesome collector edition over here. It has everything you want. Steelbook case, poster, soundtrack, the game, if you guys want to use it on a disc or even a downloadable code. Got a really nice compact box, an art book, a statue, and a poster. Like, what else can a collector edition want? You know, one thing I do kind of wish, if it would be nice if this was bigger, but, you know, it's still perfectly fine. I reckon the statue was done really exceptionally well. A whole lot of detail and sort of works perfectly with the theming of the game itself. So, a massive thumbs up to the Iron Harvest team. These guys did an exceptional job, and especially Jacob for sort of putting together the concept artwork itself. Are you guys a massive fan of RTS games? Let me know in the comments below, but this is definitely a collection that I would definitely advise for y'all to pick up. If you guys enjoyed, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. I am the Luke Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Deuces.